Hello my lovelies, Rob here from Kickback Garage. I might have to shout a little bit um, because this exhaust on this machine is completely obnoxious. But what I'm going to talk about today is the BGM anti-dive uh, front disc brake. I've got a few little uh, niggles, I've had a few little niggles and issues on uh, this series one that I've been uh, wanting to sort out bit by bit as I get money to do it and the most important thing has been the uh, front disc brake I had uh, Scooter S disc brake on here and the problem with that it was really really grabby it was hor absolutely horrible uh, even though I um, Normally a good trick on the Scooter RS disc brake is uh, fit original Honda brake pads but uh, yeah, didn't help anything and I'm running the MMW or LTH master cylinder as you can see there <laughs> They're speeding I'm this, I have to fix this damn speed or I hate it but that's uh, that's <laughs> that's in a future episode anyway I digress, back to the uh, disc brake. It was uh, quite easy to fit, as you saw on the video. If you um, haven't seen the fitting video on that, then I'll put a link in the corner on the screen at the top right there. There you go. And that's, uh, that's me fitting the disc brake. Now initially, when I fit it, uh, I was having a bit of a problem with uh, with bleeding. I seem to have lost half the travel on the on the brake handle, which is a bit annoying. Uh, but after uh, sending an email to uh, a great customer service at uh, Scooter Center, where I bought the disc brake, um, I was told that the the best way to uh, to bleed the uh, four pot caliper is uh, by taking it off the scooter and turning it upside down and uh, so I did that I turned it upside down and I angled it so that I got both both sides of the uh, caliper and I gave it a bit of a tap with a um, the end of a screwdriver and I got rid of those air bubbles and now it feels absolutely fantastic I've got to say it's um, it's really really progressive so what what that means is it doesn't bite as soon as you grab hold of the handle it sort of um, you've got yeah what have you got a couple of millimeters of free play and it gradually uh, tightens down on the anchors so it's really, really uh, easy to modulate, which I find great because um, when you've got anti-dive, whoop, have to catch him up. I'm blabbing too much. When you've got anti-dive uh, disc brakes, if they're really grabby, then uh, you can actually lock them. And I've done that on a PM tuning double disc uh, back in the day, and I, <laughs> I came a cropper. So. Um, What, I've, uh, what I did earlier before I started filming this is I took a couple of films, videos, where I, uh, I ride 60 kilometers an hour and I break down to a standstill. And the reason why I did that, I want to see how well the uh, anti-dive works. Because I can't actually feel uh, the front end dipping when I'm grabbing a fistful of brake. Uh, which is the whole point of the uh, whole point of the system. And another thing is like, on these Norwegian roads here, uh, that have got very harsh uh, winters, you can uh, end up with, with brake bumps on the tarmac itself. And they always appear before and after corners. So that means that if you're uh, if you're breaking before a corner, uh, you've still got the use of, the full use of your suspension system. 
which is uh, <laughs> really, really good. It's a bonus. Um, another thing to know is um, the wheel was central straight away. On my scooter RS, on some Vietnamese, uh, other Vietnamese types, and even on my PM tuning uh, disc, I couldn't uh, align the wheel. I had to uh, fit shims and spaces and modify things to try and get the wheel to sit centrally uh, on the fork. But it was this uh, BGM uh, disc brake, it was just bolt straight on, it was central, and it feels really, really planted. It's. Um, yeah, it's transformed really the front end of this uh, this scooter. No tracking problems. No, yeah, no nothing. Oh, I have to try and catch him up. Which is it's really annoying. I told him to take it easy, <laughs> kids. Uh, the whole point of me strapping that fancy camera on his scooter was so that he could film me. <laughs> I'm miles away. Hello. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, and he's just <laughs> and he just took off in a fancy motorbike. Anyway, I'm going to have to conclude uh, something here. Uh, the BGM disc brake, uh, very nice fit, nice fit and fitment. Uh, a little bit difficult to um, to bleed. We had the issue with the caliper where I had to uh, file a bit off the back end. I'm pretty sure that's an issue that's just on uh, on the FA Italia rim, but it was nothing really. It was uh, half a millimeter out to file away. Uh, but the, the the feel of the brakes themselves really really nice um, nice and controlled and uh, yeah I have to say I'm really really happy with it so it should be really interesting to uh, get out the uh, Casa Performance disc brake and uh, see how that feels compared to this one just oh lovely oh yeah I really like it so I will uh, love you and leave you but don't forget if you like this if you like this sort of stuff do the old subscribe don't forget to give me a thumbs up you can also support the channel uh, by buying merch <laughs> you can support the channel by buying merch and or you can buy me a coffee and I love you and leave you as I said and I'll see you all in the next one Ta-ra! Messing around with these cameras, battery is going flat. I'm a clear to the merang, all the sprung in log of villa come under talk. In your novice black out to other forty frog, for what to do or draw. Can we phone, can I send and come? Do I send to come? So we are the brother, so